So good morning. Um, I'm sitting here doing my exchange. I'm almost done. And um, I wanted to show you something because you guys know that I have this pet peeve with the gauzes. <laughs> so if you don't know, like about a year ago, they took gauzes off of our list to be able to purchase from Baxter. And why gauze is so important is because it's what we scrub our connector with in order to connect our bags to and then also to scrub it so we can put our mini cap on and everything's good and safe. Well, about a year ago, they decided to take those off and now we have to ask Davida, is what I'm told, um, for them. So every time I go to a doctor's appointment and I go in there, I always get more and more gauzes. <laughs> um, I forget the number of gauzes I need, but if you take one gauze, no, it would be two gauzes per exchange. I do four exchanges a day. And then you multiply that by, see, this already hurts my head. You multiply that by how many days in the month times, you know, I mean, it's just a monstrous amount, basically. And so I can see why, um, I guess Medicare wouldn't want to pay for it. But at the same time, it's like, this is something we have to have. It's not something that's just a flippant thing. It's the first step or one of the first steps to staying sterile so that you don't get uh, peritonitis and you're able to live a good life because you're handling your dialysis. So to me, it's just super frustrating. I did call Baxter and ask him like, why was this taken off the list? They said it was Davida's decision. Um, I asked Davida and they kind of gave me a run around with it. <laughs> um, and then I started to ask a couple of other medical people um, why something like this would happen. And so basically I was told that it happens because of insurance. So what drives me nuts though, is the fact that I am supposed to be fully covered for my medical. Um, insurance itself is just frustrating, but I don't understand why I don't get cause because it's ridiculous that either I would have to pay out of pocket or I even have to ask for it. So it's really frustrating and dumb. And so anyways, when you first start learning how to use gauze, um, you use a bleaching solution called Alcavis. And so you lay your gauze out on your table, or your mat or whatever it is that you're using. Um, and you put a little bit of the Alcavis. Now this is the Esept, which is what you use on your port, but the Alcavis is in a similar bottle and it's blue, it says Alcavis. Um, and so you put a little bit on to that gauze and then you scrub your connector for like two minutes. And um, when you're first taught, we used to get the gauzes individually wrapped in these little paper things and you would have to pull it apart because you don't want any um, germs, you don't want it to touch the floor, you don't want it to touch anything that could possibly cause it to become unsterile. And so um, I remember feeling really nervous about that because it's like sometimes you could rip them open and they'd accidentally like fling out and then you're like, shoot, you know, that one's spoiled, don't use it at all. Well, we used to get them in packages of like 50 and so you would get in a certain amount of boxes per month. They kind of calculated it out for you. And um, what I figured out or found out is that people were taking advantage and getting a whole bunch of them because you were allowed to get like a whole bunch. And maybe minimalistic, I didn't get a whole bunch. I got what I needed and I feel mad about that because it's like I should have just taken advantage because now it's such a hassle about the whole thing like the gist of it is the hassle not getting them that's easy but 
it's just the whole thing. Like I should be able to go on Baxter, should be able to order it, should be fine, no problem. But it's just ridiculous. So anyways, now I ask for them and I can get either um, like really, I get like these tubes of gauzes. Sometimes they say like surgical gauzes or whatever, but I get this tube of them and what I realized is like, they're not individually wrapped. So I'm like, it's so weird to me to think that when I was first trained, it was like, oh, don't let it touch anything. Don't cross contaminate. Don't let it fall on the floor. You know, you really want to be cautious with this. You have to wash your hands for like a minute. You need to use only our um, hand washing soap, antibacterial soap. You have to have your area cleaned. Don't touch your hair. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your clothes. Don't do all this stuff, right? Um, <laughs> but then now we don't get those kinds of gauzes. Now we get these tube gauzes when when you rip it open, they're just all in a tube and they're not individually wrapped and so now it's like okay so the air is now on them and you're putting them down on something instead of having them open up and lay in their own sterile package and sometimes <laughs> i don't want to be like beggars can't be choosers but at the same time it's so weird to me because there, basically, I have two different types. There's like this one, which is um, pretty thick, actually. And um, I'm trying to get the other one here. Okay, and then this one. So basically, you can see this one's a little bit more see-through, I think you can tell, and this one's not. So this one, what I ended up doing is folding it in half because it's so thin that, remember I use that bleach solution? So when you put the bleach solution on here, this thing gets so soaked that it can drip everywhere. Now, I wear a lot of solid colors, obviously. I wear, usually wear a lot of black. Um, <laughs> I have ruined so many clothes because of the dripping of the bleach off of it. Also, another note is like wherever you're doing your dialysis at, um, sometimes that bleach can fall onto the carpet, you know, and I rent and I don't want to have my carpet stained and bleached out, you know, so I don't know. I just know like when I get these really thin ones, I have to be very vigilant to not over pour on these now on your cap and yeah on your cap this thing you're supposed to be able to whether it's you're using Alcavis or Ecept there we go um, there's like little measuring things on here where you can measure out what you're supposed to use well that again is a little bit ridiculous because if you were to pour it as much as you're supposed to on these things on these thin ones, you're going to get bleach everywhere. So don't do that. <laughs> like, it, it's just crazy. Um, which then this bottle, or it would be the other one, uh, will last a really long time. So that's the other thing. It's, it's kind of like, it's just frustrating to me because maybe I'm a little bit OCD, but at the same time, I'm like, these get so soaked and you have to be careful to not use too much. Whereas these are so thick that you use extra on here just to get it wet because this actually absorbs all your uh, alcavis. <laughs> and it's like, you don't have enough to get, it's, it's like dried out and you have to put more on there just so that you feel like you're actually getting your connector clean. So what I decided to do, again, these are not individually wrapped. So they're out in the air. They're also touching uh, my disinfected tray table. So I cut them in half, which is contamination basically with my contaminated preschool scissors. <laughs> and now I have two, 
which makes them last longer because otherwise I don't have enough gauze. So it's just to me mind blowing and ridiculous because in the beginning I was trained to not let these precious things touch anything because it needed to be sterile so that I don't get peritonitis. However, we're not allowed to get them anymore through Baxter. We're getting them from the grocery store, which does not usually, I mean, it's outrageous. The price, I would say, for those individually wrapped ones are pretty high. I think Amazon had the best price. And I want to say they were $10, $12 for 50. So when you start adding that up, it's a lot. But why should I have to pay for it when I'm fully covered? That's the ridiculous part about it. And it's something I have to have. It's not just something like tape that you can just go to the drugstore and buy tape. Who cares? No, it's something that I have to have that is vital. And now we get them in a tube they're not individually wrapped. They're out in the air. I'm cutting them so that I'm not over, like overusing them because now I can do like a whole exchange with this instead of using a whole other one. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just so frustrating to me why that happens. And I just don't understand it. Like, it's not fair. It's not right. And they fall all over the place. <laughs> um, I worry, too, about maybe some of my elderly friends because they do fall all over the place. Like, I just literally dropped, like, three on the floor right now, so I'm not going to use those at all. Um, the argument on the other side of that is that, well, Alcavis is supposed to be able to kill all the germs, so you don't have to worry about that. And it's like, here's the other kicker is because they're so dang thick, you overuse, you have to overuse your amount of alcavis just to get yourself disinfected, which means now you have to get more alcavis. So this is like the f second or third time that I've gotten the really thick ones. So when I was there at DaVita the other day, I ended up getting two more tubes or I, sh I guess I should call them sleeves, sleeves of gauze. And they're the real thin ones, which is fun. But now I have to go back to being mindful <laughs> about not over soaking them because then bleach is just going to go everywhere and my clothes get ruined. And I don't know. It's a frustrating thing. So I don't know what to say. I don't know if anybody else is having to go through the same hurdles. And then also I'm still in the back of my head, like, who do you contact to ask, like, who decides what you get? Because I'll tell you, I have not ordered Ecept in probably a year. Because in the beginning, you're allowed, you, I think we were allowed to get like three, two, probably two a month. Well, you can go through one a month and you're fine. So people just kept buying all the stuff, right? Well, you don't need all this stuff all the time. You need them in certain amounts. So my Alcavis even, I typically will go through a bottle and a half a month. But over time, if you're ordering two every month, you're just over ordering in my head, you know. And so I'm like, I don't even spend my whole allowance, if that's what we want to call it, for my supplies. I haven't bought face masks since ever. I think I ordered one time because it was during that time that we had to wear them everywhere. I don't buy them. Um, I don't buy the lap pads very often. I just get what I need. Um, I don't usually buy clamps. You can buy these clamps. There's 12 of them. You don't need that. You don't need 12. You don't throw these away. You disinfect them and you're fine. Um, I did buy a box of those because I need to get a little organized with that. But other than that, gauze you have to have. <laughs> but it's like you don't have to buy like all this stuff and yet it's there on the list. 
But I'm like, why am I punished? I feel like I'm punished because I'm not spending all the money on these other things when I could just get the gauze. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. So maybe there's some people who end up buying all that stuff every month and you use up all the money that you have there. I don't. So why can't I just get the gauze on my Baxter list to order? It doesn't make a lick of sense to me. Nonetheless, I am happy and grateful that at least I can get them and I don't have to buy them. Um, so I guess I will just end this on that note because I might as well just be thankful for that. But it's still in my head that it's not right. <laughs>